So I was privileged to present to ASH um, a large study for pa in patients with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma and, and high-grade B-cell lymphoma, looking at the effectiveness of um, high-dose methotrexate as a central nervous system relapse preventative measure. Um, so the, the background is that patients with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma are, um, have a risk of CNS relapse, um, and this is rare, but it's devastating when it occurs. Um, and they um, identifying the patients at highest risk um, is able to be done using a prognostic index calculated at diagnosis called the CNS IPI. And we know that patients with the highest risk CNS IPI have a risk of central nervous system lymphoma relapse of about 10% at two years. Um, and the, the CNS IPI has become a very widely adopted tool in clinical practice for identifying who these patients are. But despite this, there's actually little consensus globally as to exactly who these patients are overall, um, what CNS prophylaxis measures would be recommended to try and reduce their risk of this occurring, and also um, how this prophylaxis should be best incorporated into their main systemic lymphoma therapy. So the literature is quite mixed on the benefit of high-dose methotrexate. So there's some literature previously supporting this practice and suggesting that it reduces the risk of um, central nervous system relapse in these high-risk patients. However, more recently, there's been several reasonably large retrospective studies that have suggested that high-dose methotrexate is ineffective at preventing um, at this complication. But because fortunately this is a rare event, CNS relapse remains rare and uncommon, um, you need enormous data sets to actually um, definitively show um, or detect meaningful differences between different prophylactic approaches. So we enrolled um, 2,300 patients from 21 sites around the world. It's a multi-center retrospective study. And we, um, uh, this uh, patients either received, or, oh, sorry, all patients had an aggressive B-cell lymphoma with a high CNS IPI score. So this is the highest risk group of patients who we'd anticipate this 10% um, risk of CNS relapse. Um, and we, we analyzed um, whether the high-dose methotrexate made a difference um, and reduced the risk of CNS relapse in this high-risk group. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we enrolled uh, patients, some of whom had received high-dose methotrexate as part of their treatment and some of whom had not. Um, and what we, what we found was that um, high-dose methotrexate actually made uh, no difference. So the, the CNS relapse risk in patients who had received and not received this treatment was actually very similar and very, very similar to the historic group where the CNS IPI was derived, where we know that the risk is about 10%. Um, so we, we think it's been a really helpful um, study to add to the add to the literature, um, given that it's such a large data set and that um, the event is rare. It's, it's valuable data in this in this space.